Hi everyone, I just bought a brand new uh, Braum Bistro grinder and I thought I would do a quick review on it. I've never owned a grinder before, but what I was reading was when you pick a grinder that you should spend expect to spend the same amount on your grinder as you spent on your coffee maker. What I read online was that you want your, that if you're making coffee, the best kind of coffee grinder you can have is a conical burr grinder, uh, which is what this is. Um, that means it's got burrs that are going to, um, it's going to push it through a cycle of, um, a cycle of, oops, oh dear, well now we can see it. It's going to push it through a cycle of smaller and smaller grinds and your two choices and here's the other half of it you can see the spiral on there um your two choices are a blade grinder or a burr grinder and a blade grinder they said is really good for seeds and nuts and for people who do a pour over or um i'm sorry not a pour over but a who need a, a thicker grind we're doing espresso so we need a really fine grind this grinder was only about a hundred dollars they go all the way up to thousands of dollars and what people said that they liked about it was that there's a glass jar that collects and it's got it's got a like a silicone lid to it that's got a real tight fit and a tiny little hole and because it's glass when the grinds go into it you don't have the same static problems most grinders have a plastic container so they claim and they said that once it hits the container the uh, grinds jump all over the place based on the static electricity but so this has got a nice little silicone lid and it fits into here pretty tight so i believe it's going to be pretty clean once it comes out it's not going to shoot out everywhere um and the top of it they show your your um, french press your drip coffee and your espresso and what i was reading was people like it to be a little bit more ground a little coarser ground and then all the way on the espresso um they say the the most important part about your grinder is you want it to have a very even grind if it's not even then you get all these crumbs in your um in your coffee and nobody likes crumbs so when you when you buy it it comes in two separate pieces you just pop this on top which is very very simple and you're good to go and i thought i would make a video of my first grind because it was just so pretty and clean and I figured it would never get this pretty and clean ever again. But um, one of the things I read online was people are concerned with how much coffee is left over in it. Uh, what I read by the book was to only wipe it down with a, with a damp cloth and to use a bristle brush on the, um, the blades itself. Someone on the Amazon review said that she uses rice uh, at once every other week she'll she'll put rice into the machine and that uh dry white rice and that'll clean it out really well the book says do not grind anything other than coffee um i was a little impressed that there's if you're from if you're coming from um australia and you buy this that you have a one year warranty on the electrical parts and a two year warranty on a bunch of other stuff. Basically, they don't fix it. If in doubt, they just give you a new machine or they give you a new part that's broken. Uh, in America, they have to fill out a, America and Canada, they have to fill out, a, the seller has to fill out a certificate when you purchase it. And when they fill that out, you have a two year warranty if anything goes wrong that they promise to fix it. Um, I bought mine on Amazon and I have no clue if they filled out that certificate or not. I paid a hundred dollars for it. For me, that's a lot of money. So I hope that they did it, but we'll just hope nothing goes wrong. Um, I'm a little confused. It's got a five, 10, 15, 20 second choice on how long you want to do that. I think that means that people are putting all of their ground, their beans in here and they're just gonna choose exactly the amount of uh, time they want to grind. According to the book, uh, you cannot use this more than 20 seconds. That if you, 
If you grind for 20 seconds, you need to wait five minutes to let it cool back down. I found that a little shocking because, um, to be honest, we were planning on using this to try grinding um, chocolate beans. And I made a poor choice because it says all over the book, do not use this for anything other than coffee. If you use it for anything other than coffee, it uh, voids out your warranty. And then on top of that, if I'm gonna grind a bag of chocolate, I'm gonna need more than 20 seconds. 20 seconds is gonna be uh, way, way too short of a time. But what I was reading online was if you're wanting to grind nuts or wanting to grind spices, you really should use a blade grinder, not a conical grinder. On the lid, it's got a guide about the uh, coarseness of your grind and how many seconds you're gonna want to, um, to grind for. So I'm going for fine. See if you can see that fine. And it says, Basically, oh dear. So if I'm doing three cups, which is 12 ounces, I want a 10 second grind for four cups, which four cups of espresso is what we usually do for the two of us. Um, I want a 15 second grind. Six cups is 20 seconds and eight cups is 20 plus 10 seconds. So now keep in mind you are grinding for 20 seconds letting it sit for five minutes, and then grinding for another 10, 10 seconds. Um, if you want 12 cups, you're going to have to do 20 times 2, according to the thing. Now, I don't know how many grinds equals a cup, either, because I'm not a aficionado when it comes to grinding. Um, oh, and one more thing. One of the reasons we chose this one is they said... Uh, Conical grinders, and especially this one, is really good with a oily bean. And I kind of like the specialty coffees that have the oily beans, so I figured that was a good choice for me. And speaking of which, I have one that is caramel brownie chocolate, and it's very oily. And so uh, I'm going to, this is my little um, container that we use, and I technically only want two, two cups right now which is the first little hash mark on that jar, but I'm gonna do it heaping and we'll see how much that grinds. So I'm gonna pour that in, so tiny. Put the lid back on. And one more thing I read is I've got extended cord under here. It's wrapped around the thing. I've never used this before. As I said before, I figured that I will never get it as crystal clear for review as the day that I receive it. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it goes. I am going to turn my lid all the way to, we're gonna try the deepest espresso. Um, technically it goes all the way. I'm gonna try one latch less. And I'm gonna do 10 seconds as the lid was suggesting for two people. I figure more is better than less and we'll see what it sounds like and what it looks like. Oh, as soon as I turn it on power on. We've got a light showing. Mm -hmm. So 10 seconds is not enough to grind the full ramekin or the full container. Um, how much did we end up with left? Oh, and they fall everywhere, of course, because they're all in the bottom section, so you can see how much is left. Looks like it ground half of what I expected it to. I got quite a pile down here. Let's see how much it fills the container. Okay, so they're absolutely right. Ten seconds. I've got a little bit left over, and I'm right at my, my two-cup level. That's exactly where I want to be. So if I am doing a single pole, I want it to be, it looks like, so I did a heaping scoop. It looks like I actually want to fill it to a little bit higher than the level two and then put my grinds in. And so here is my coffee. And I'll show you what um, Starbucks coffee looks like. Starbucks pre-ground espresso compare the two okay so my grind is finer than starbucks 
If you look on the edges, you can see the tiny little dots. And this one's got much smaller dots than that one does. Let's see how well it zooms in. So this is Starbucks. And this is my grinder. I mean, two different beans, that's why the colors are different, but you can see how tiny mine are. They look pretty even. I'm happy about that. I think I just need a thicker grind. Let's do some measurements so you know what you're getting into. By the way, I'm pretty impressed it did not make a mess at all anywhere. Um, other than the beans that are falling out, but that's my own stupidity, right? So let's measure this. The parfait portion is seven inches tall, uh, six inches wide, long, and at its widest hip part is four and a half inches. And when we add this portion on top, at its widest part with the plastic lid, it is six and a half inches by 11 inches and the cord is not very long I'm a little surprised how short the cord is the cord so this this cord is all the way out I had to go get an extension cord because I didn't want to have it all the way at the wall to make this video so the cord is this is gonna be a rough estimate because it's kind of wobbly so, 32 inches long and that's all the way from the plug to at the tips of the plug to the wall which really you shouldn't have it too far out anyway but just so you know you might need an extension cord if you don't plan on having it right against the wall and I think that's it I so far I'm pretty pleased with it I'll let you know if I make any decisions otherwise thanks for watching